Hello. In this session, we will look at how you can connect to your Windows EC2 instance. So in the last session, we have launched a, a Windows EC2 instance. So here, this is the instance uh, that we have launched in the last session. Now, in this particular session, I will show you how you can connect to this Windows EC2 instance. Now, in the last session, I showed you how the steps. So again, it's a very straightforward uh, uh, process that you have. Uh, one important change you will see is the AMI. You have to make sure you are going with the Windows AMI, which is nothing but your operating system. The other change you will see is the storage capacity, which is your uh, 30 GB storage capacity. Other than that, everything remains the same. You can go with the default options and you should be able to launch the Windows instance. Now, in this session, we will look at how you can um, connect to this win Windows instance. Once again, before we start off with the session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, before you connect to this Windows instance, if you have launched this instance just now, you'll have to wait for at least four minutes uh, before you can connect to the server. Um, again, because uh, it needs to prepare the UI so that we can interact with the operating system. Now, how do you connect to this Windows instance? Like how we have SSH for the Linux machines, for the Windows machines, we have RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol that can be used to connect your Windows machines. Now, unlike your Linux machines where we use the PEM file for the authentication, for the Windows machine, we will need to generate a password for the authentication. So, how do you connect to this Windows machine? First, before you connect to this Windows machine, you'll need to generate the credentials, you'll need to generate the uh, password. Now to generate those credentials here, you, you can select the server check mark this and on the right hand side here, you should be able to see this connect option. Click on connect and we are going with this RDP client. So there are different different options that are available in this particular session. We are looking at your RDP client and here you can see you see the public DNS, you see the default username. So that's the default username you have and then for the password, click on get password and you will need to upload your PEM file. So here it will tell you what is your PEM file name. So click on upload private key and uh, provide the PEM file, click on decrypt password and this should generate a password for us. So these are the three details that we will need to RDP to this Windows machine. One, the second important point is your firewall. If you have launched your uh, Windows EC2 instance, you have to make sure that, so let's go back to that instance. So this is the instance we are looking at. You can go to the security, go to the security and open up this security group. And you have to make sure you're allowing RDP. SSH is for your Linux machines. RDP is for your Windows machine. So that's the default port number. Now, how do you add this? In case you don't have this, click on edit inbound rules and here click on add rule and you can search for RDP. So scroll down and you should be able to see RDP and allow this from anywhere. All right, so this is what you'll have to do and then click on save rules. Uh, so in my case, I've already uh, included it. So I'm not making any changes, but that's the important thing. You have to make sure you allow this. Once you have these uh, uh, set up, you can go to your local machine. Let's say Windows is your local machine. So by default on your Windows machine, you should have RDP installed. So if you do, a, if you search for RDP, you should be able to see that. Uh, if you're on Mac OS or Linux, you need to install it. But assuming you're on Windows machine, you can just open this up. Now, the first thing this will prompt you is for the computer name, which is nothing but the host IP address, the DNS. So you can just copy this and provide that over here. Then click on connect. Now, if you have allowed RDP, this will take you to the next step, which is your credentials. But if you get like unable to connect to the server, that means you have not included RDP, you have not added RDP in your security group. Okay, so make sure you add the RDP. Then this will prompt you for the username. So that's the default username. So we will give the username and then the password. So this will be my password. I'll give that password, click on OK, and this will start connecting to the machine. Again, if you're connecting to the server for the first time, this will like prompt you, like uh, ask you for confirmation. Do you want to connect or not? So I'll click on yes, and this will start connecting to your Windows EC2 instance. All right, so now, my from my local machine we are connecting to a windows ec2 instance all right so this will like give me th this gives me the same feel as your local machine so the ui everything remains the same and you can do whatever you want on this like uh, as you do on your local machine you can do whatever you want on this machine as well 
all right so you know you can um, uh, browse you can install applications you can run applications deploy the applications access the applications whatever you want to do you can do on this virtual machine as well so this is how you can connect you can do an rdp to your windows ec2 machine so here this is my windows ec2 instance that is running now you can validate so here uh, you can see you if you see this that means it's a, a windows ec2 instance that um, you are running um, on the right hand side you should be able to see a few more details so here this will load a few more details for us like your instance type the instance id the private ip so like this so you can see the private ip address the public ip address the instance id uh, instance type this is all the information that we have so you can see this is ending with 8051 and uh, if i go to the server i should be able to see that same private ip so you can see 8051 so that's how you can connect your windows ec2 instance that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video